the mesh shading feature was first introduced by NVIDIA's Turing architecture with the RTX 20 series GPUs in the latter half of 2018. Shortly after that, we got a first proper showcase released by NVIDIA in December of that year with their Asteroids demo. Looks like it's finally making its way into actual games. But let's take a moment to talk about mesh shaders and that particular demo first. So mesh shading adds a new shader model for vertex, tessellation, and geometry shading, thus allowing an order of magnitude more objects per scene than would otherwise be possible. According to NVIDIA, this dramatically improves both performance and image quality, and in the past, we've gotten a chance to test it out over on the, here on the channel thanks to the 3D Mark Mesh Shader test. Now, it was just a feature test, so it was kind of hard to gauge what it would do in games, but it did show a massive performance improvement without any noticeable image degradation. Now, back to that Asteroids demo. In the demo, each individual asteroid model consists of a sequence of 10 levels of details with the highest level containing up to 6 million triangles. This extreme amount of geometry detail allows the largest asteroid to retain a very detailed look, even with the player is flying extremely close, activating Visualize LOD levels, which paints each asteroid with a color based on its current LOD, showing how the mesh shaders transition smoothly between these LODs now, in addition to dynamic LOD, mesh shading also allows for the implementation of smart culling systems, greatly improving rendered efficiency. Culling takes place hierarchically in the demo. By combining together efficient GPU culling and LOD techniques, they're able to decrease the number of triangles drawn by the several orders of magnitude, retaining only those necessary to maintain a very high level of image fidelity. Mesh shaders make it possible to implement extremely efficient solutions that can be targeted specifically to the content being rendered. However, fast forward to today, and even though it's now also supported by AMD's RDNA 2 based RX 6000 series graphics cards for PC and next generation consoles, and it's mentioned as a core feature of the DX12 Ultimate set, we haven't seen any actual implementation of mesh shading in a live game, which is a shame as the technology has the potential to increase performance by allowing geometry to be pre-called, thus allowing developers to render more complex scenes without sacrificing performance in the process. Now that did change recently with NetEase adding the feature to the MMORPG Justice, which previously also got support for RTX Global Illumination, and earlier than that was the first title to receive both RTX-based shadows and reflections and DLSS. The official NVIDIA blog spoke with game programmer Yu Hang Zhao apologies for the pronunciation on that if I was wrong, to discuss the developer's mesh shading implementation, which enables 1.8 billion triangles to be rendered at 4K and over 60 FPS per second with an RTX 3060 Ti graphics cards. Now, if you want to see what all they had to say about it, head on over to the link in the description below, but we're quite excited to see this incredible feature roll out to an actual game. Now, here's to hoping we see more very soon. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.